hello everyone and then welcome to another video okay so in this video the treating limit of sequences okay so um we'll be applying the limit of sequences um into what um learn how to evaluate sequences okay so we will be just transferring the knowledge of what limit of sequences into what evaluating sequences and then in case you are new to this channel i'll urge you to you know subscribe to the channel Turn on your post notification by clicking on the bell icon and then in case you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section and then I'll reply to them as soon as possible, okay? Now let's dive right into this um, video. Okay, so for limit, we know that limit of sequence is all about finding the what, the limit of a sequence. That's the simplest explanation you could get, okay? So this is how we represent limit of sequence, okay? So we take the limit from n to infinity, okay? So most of the time, we take to infinity because we don't know the exact limit of the specific sequence okay unless it's maybe given in, in what a set form okay like the previous um examples okay like the previous examples we treated okay now so we have what the limit taken from n to infinity okay so the sequence n okay so we have the n meaning the number of terms okay it could be um the sequence to 10 the 10th term or whatever okay equal to what the limit okay so the limit is what the l Okay, so this is what um, limit of sequence is all about. We take the limit to a specific um, infinity, okay? It, could be, it shouldn't be specific, okay, but to infinity, mean, meaning that we are most concentrated on the highest value of the n so that we could break the sequence down till we get to what finding the limit, okay? And again, we could notice that we have what convergent or what divergent limits, okay? So for convergent limits, the limit has to be what at least one, okay? And then for divergent limits, the limit won't have any what? The sequence won't have any limit, okay? So let's take um, some examples so that you get what? Understand what we mean by convergent and what? Divergent limit, okay? So again, convergent limit, we have to have what? A specific limit. Just put that in mind, okay? Convergent limits have, must have what? Specific limits. And then divergent means that they usually do not have any limit, okay? So let's take an example, okay? So let's say example we have what certain limits okay we take from n to what infinity and then we've been given the um question towards one on n okay so when we take the limit of this okay when you take the limit of this we end up with what one on zero okay that's what i initially stated that from n towards infinity meaning that we just break n down till we get to the lowest n and value of n okay and then we just equate n towards zero because and then from here you can notice that um n is already broken down to the lowest um number okay or the lowest power so once we set zero to this point we just get what one equals zero meaning that this is what most definitely divergent okay we do not have specific limit for this um question okay so let's take the second example once we go through the examples you get to understand okay the more examples I, I give out, the more understanding you get, okay? So let's take limit of n going into infinity, okay? The limit is going to infinity, and then we have what? Okay, so now let's try to take the limit of this uh, what question, okay? So first, we just break the limit down to its simplest power, okay? So this will give us what? We have n divided by what? n. Okay. So all we are trying to do is just divide the what the entire limit by what the highest power of what n. Okay, we just divide the entire limit by the highest power of n. And from here you have what the highest power of n to what n. Okay, n is one into one, so n. Okay, we just try divide the entire what limit by what that n. Right. So we have what n on n. Okay. So from here we have what one plus one on n, and then we have one n over n will give us what one okay so there's no need to even write that so we just have what one plus now we can just substitute that n with what the infinity that's zero okay so we have one one zero okay and divide by what one and that will give us what most definitely one so from here you can notice that this um limit okay limit of this sequence is what convergent okay because we've been able to arrive at a specific limit for what this um sequence okay right let's take the final example under what limit of sequence and then we'll continue with what evaluating what 
limit of sequence okay so let's say we have what certain limit okay we have n approaching what infinity and then we have what okay so we just proceed with the what solution so we divide by the highest um, power of what n okay so let's do that n squared divided by what n squared plus what one over what okay so let's do the simple cancellation and order so this will give us what one plus one on what n okay so this is what we end up with now let's just substitute our n into this um expression which is what n which is equal to zero okay so we have what one plus one over what zero squared and then divided by what one over zero so from here you can notice that we just have one divided by one over zero so it means that this is what most definitely one over zero okay and then this means that we have a divergent sequence we have a divergent sequence just like what i initial question okay so this all about what limit of sequence now let's let's dive into what we are looking at what evaluating limits of sequence okay I'm trying to evaluate the limits of the following sequences so let's see we have what this is our sequence say 4 minus 2n okay plus 3n squared divided by what 4n squared okay plus 5n okay so this is our first sequence let's look at our second sequence we have what um the square root the entire square root of what n squared okay n minus 1 close brackets divided by what 1 plus 1 over 2 n cube okay so this a second sequence we'll, we'll continue with the rest okay so let's try solve this first okay so as in we initially um came to know that um when it comes to finding the what the limit of sequence we just take the highest power of the what n and then we divide through so that we can break the sequence down to the is level um, to its lowest form okay after that we substitute our n with what zero so that you can arrive at the specific what limit of the sequence okay so that's what we'll be implementing over here okay so we have what so let's find the highest power of n which is what n squared over here so we divide through by what our n squared okay so let's do that so we have what four divided by what n squared minus what two n divided by what n squared plus 3 n squared divided by what n squared okay okay and then you divide that entire of that by what 4 n squared divided by n squared and then you have what plus 5 n divided by n squared okay so let's try break this down okay we have what this will just give us um we have 4 divided by what 4 n squared okay minus 2 on n right and then we have what plus 3 that's from here the numerator okay then we divide that by what 4 plus 5 on n so that's what the denominator okay so let's try break this down okay so now we've been able to substitute the entire of this um sequence with what the highest power of what n and then we'll be able to simplify now we just have to um, take the limit okay so we are now taking the limit at n approaching what infinity of this expression okay so we have what 4 okay divided by what 0 squared okay 2 over what 0 plus 3 and then we divide that by what 4 plus 5 on 0 okay so when you just do the simple algebra you end up with what 3 on 4 okay 3 on 4 because this will be 0 0 and 0 okay so this will be our limit for this sequence okay this will be our limit for this sequence okay so in in future videos i'll be showing you how to you know arrive at the words the limit of the word sequence without going through all of this okay without going through the division and all that okay so once you are a subscriber and then you turn on your post notification once that video has been uploaded you will get it okay all you have to do is just be a subscriber and then turn on your post notification okay 
Now let's take the second example. Okay, so from here you can notice that this was a convergence what sequence with limit three one four. Okay, right. So let's let's take the second example, which is um the entire root of what n square, and then we have what n minus one divided by what one plus one over two and cube okay so let's try solve that okay so we are just taking the limit okay we are taking the limit of the entire of um the sequence okay so we have what let's take the entire root of what the highest power of n okay so we have what we could just try expand this first okay or we could just go by that so let's let's try expand that we have n cube okay so let's proceed from there we have what still taking the limits okay then we have what the highest power of n is now what? n cube okay so let's proceed from there so we have n cube over n cube minus n square on what n cube and then you divide about one over n cube plus one over two and then we have what n Q on what and Q. So let's try break this down. Okay. Right. So we have what from here we have the entire root of um one. So from here we have one plus one over n. Okay, that's from n squared over n q, and then you divide that by what one over n q, and then we have plus of what. 1 over 2 okay because the n cube will just cancel the n cube out so now we are just left with what simple substitution okay so from here all you have to do is just substitute your n with what 0 because we are taking the limit okay where n is approaching infinity okay so we have what have the root of um, 1 plus 1 over 0 and then we divide that by what 1 over 0 cube plus 1 over 2 okay so when you, you do the simple computation or simple doing a simple um, algebra you end up with 1 over 1 over 2 okay and then when you compute 1 over 1 over 2 you just end up with 1 okay so this will just be the final answer for what this question okay you could see how a bit long this is but it's, it's no big deal once you understand the concept you are good to go okay so let's take the last question okay and then we call it a day so we have what 5n squared plus 3n okay plus 3 divided by what 2n plus 7n squared note that we are just taking the limit okay at n approaching infinity so now let's proceed from there Still taking the limits at n approaching infinity. So we have what we are dividing by what the highest power of n, which is what n squared. Okay, n squared plus 3n. You could just try pause this video and try, you know, arriving at the correct answer, and then after that, you continue and find out whether your answer is correct or not. Okay, have 2n or what n squared. 7n squared on what n squared okay so from here let's let's proceed from so we have limit at n approaching with infinity from here we have what 5 okay 5 plus what 3 on n a and you have what plus 3 on n squared then you divide that by what 2 on n okay plus 7 Okay, so from here, you could notice that after you just substitute your n values with what is zero, you just end up with what five on seven. Okay, great. I hope this video was very very helpful. And then, in case you want to see more of these videos, I would urge you to you know subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notification, and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.